Welcome to Graduate Student Orientation. This presentation outlines some helpful resources for new graduate students. I'm Dr. Dean Campbell, Assistant Dean for Academic Services in the North Carolina A&T State Graduate School. In this presentation, I'll highlight resources, including the Graduate School, the Graduate Catalog, as well as academic eligibility, and important enrollment policies forms. The first resource is the Graduate School staff. The Graduate School is a team of professionals committed to enhancing the quality of your graduate experience from entry to completion. We're organized into STAR, or Student Transition and Retention, which includes a professional staff member or STAR associate assigned to your academic unit. Please note on the slide that uh, on this slide, the specific staff member or, or STAR associate assigned to your program's unit for their contact information. STAR associates are available to assist you with questions related to enrollment throughout your graduate career. The second resource is the graduate catalog, and the catalog can be found on the graduate school's website at www.ncat.edu slash grad, and then click graduate catalog. Graduate studies is often highly individualized, and not all graduate students follow the same path through completion um, the same way. The catalog is an excellent resource that we recommend graduate students familiarize themselves with first before taking any action that might impact their academic progress. Academic eligibility, and we've highlighted some of the uh, policy on this slide, pertains to your suitability conti to continue in graduate studies. Generally, all graduate students must maintain a 3.0 cumulative GPA to remain in good academic standing and to continually enroll at the university. The graduate school will track graduate students' academic eligibility semester to semester. Any student who fails to remain in good academic standing may be given notice of academic warning, academic probation, or academic dismissal. As indicated in your letter of admission, all new graduate students who fail to achieve a 3.0 GPA by the end of their first semester may fall out of good academic standing. Be sure to consult the catalog or your department or your STAR associate if you have any questions about academic eligibility. The third resource is a set of forms that many uh, first-year graduate students use. The plan of study, the request for transfer of credits, and the change of program forms. And all of these are once again available from uh, the Graduate School's website. Click on Continuing Students and then Forms. Each one of these forms uh, must be signed by your academic department's faculty advisor or graduate, uh, or graduate chair. Uh, the forms reflect the academic policies established by the Graduate School. Let's talk about the plan of study first. The plan of study is your basic academic roadmap and reflects what work including classes, thesis, and or dissertation, or projects that must be completed for degree award. The plan of study is an agreement between you and your program of what is required by you each semester through graduation. You should seek out your program advisor to ensure that this form is, filled with, is filed with the graduate school by the end of your second semester. In preparing your plan of study, you and your department may wish to include graduate courses taken outside of A&T. The request of transfer of credit form uh, petitions the graduate school to review up to 40% of required uh, degree program credits to be transferred. So in other words, you may transfer in up to 40% of the required degree uh, credits uh, uh, for your A&T degree. Uh, courses for transfer must be current within the last five years and need to be a minimum of a B grade. As a graduate student, you may find that your uh, professional and academic interests grow and, and they might be different from those that you had when you first started your, uh, your career as a graduate student here at A&T. Students who seek to change programs may do so using the change of program form. A change of program may be requested only after completing at least one semester in graduate studies and being in good academic standing. Note that the plan of study for the new program must be submitted with the change of program form. That completes our overview of select resources. Indeed, there's a lot more to your enrollment experience here at A&T that we didn't cover in this presentation, including some uh, resources that are in the graduate school that deal with professional development and or thesis and dissertation support, 
as well as resources that might be outside the graduate school, including academic advising resources in your department and or career development uh, resources in student affairs, just for example. You can keep up to date with important announcements by visiting the graduate school's website, liking uh, our graduate school Facebook page, or following the graduate school uh, using our Twitter hashtag. And each of those are listed here on this slide in the presentation. Thank you for watching this presentation. I welcome you to campus, and I wish you a successful academic year here at A&T.